All right, let's get Gallery View on. Welcome uh, along, everyone. This is uh, all getting towards the uh, end of uh, some of us Tuesdays. <laughs> so it looks like some familiar people here. All right, well, this is uh, Business Owners Smashing It Online. It is Tuesday evening, so this is how I know that I'm on Tuesday, is because I'm here. Um, so uh, I'm in a different venue today, as you can see behind me. And, um, well, actually, it's the same venue. I've just got a different picture behind me. So, uh, <laughs> so we've got uh, Juanita, Juanita Z. I'm going to say Juanita Z because I just really butchered her name before. So uh, she's with us uh, tonight. She's going to be sharing with us a little bit later on uh, all about, uh, you know, how to get yourself ready and prepared for uh, social um, media, for your, for your business, for uh, ready for 2021. So before we get into that, let's just do a uh, quick round of uh, intros while we're waiting for sort of uh, uh, others to arrive. Um, so if you just come and uh, introduce yourself, tell us what your business is, and uh, what is it that attracted you to come tonight? What are you hoping to get out of tonight? So just unmute. Anyone can go first. Don't let me hold you back. Well, I'll start off first, Nick. Excellent. How are you, Ian? I'm good. I just got home from a funeral. Oh, have you? Sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Most people will probably understand that sometimes it's better people go than stay. And this lady had the MND. Uh, I'm the secretary of an RSL uh, club in Brisbane, or not a club, a branch, sub branch. Uh, so I'm looking to use the skills I might pick up here, there, but also in my church. And uh, I'm involved in something akin to network marketing. So I'm also hoping that I'll get some skills to help me in that regard. Okay, Excellent. lovely. Thank you, Ian. Next All right. Week. Well, well, welcome along, Ian. Glad to have you along. And um, I'm sure that there's uh, going to be some good takeaways for you uh, tonight. All right. Who else have we got here? Come and introduce yourself. Tell us what you'd like to be getting out of tonight. Everyone's shy. Oh, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can always rely on you, Jane, to sort of come in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I sort of hold back, hoping that everyone else will. But... Um... I'm uh, yeah eating my dinner as I as I am in here, but um, I'm not going to turn the the camera off. Everyone can just watch me eat my pasta. <laughs> um, nice to meet you, Anita. Um, nice to meet you, Jane. My business is uh, an online art business, so I'm an online art teacher, and I also sell art supplies online, so e-commerce store, and. Um, Social media is just one of those things that change. Every time you feel like you're getting on top of things, it all changes on you again. And um, particularly Instagram at the moment, I'm really not favouring at all. I just find that it's just taking up all of my time and energy. And so I've kind of pushed it to the side and just focusing more on Facebook and Pinterest. Um, Pinterest not being a social media one, but, um, but still, you know what I mean. Anyway, so looking forward to what you've got to say tonight. Awesome. Great, Excellent. Thank oh, you. Good to have you back, Jane. All right. Who else have we got here? Come and say hello. And uh, what are you here for? What are you hoping to get out of tonight? Well, I'll go for everybody else uh, shy. Um, so, <laughs> oh, hi, Juanita. Uh, hi, good, Sue. thank you. Hi. Um, my name is Sue, and I recently um, founded a, an education startup to provide end-to-end -end services for uh, STEM graduates and academics to transition into industry. And what I'm hoping to get out of this session tonight is how to build uh, your influence and also your reputation online. So the preferred kind of uh, social media platform that I often use is LinkedIn but I also have Facebook and other social media accounts. Uh, eventually, I'd like to distill it down to only a couple so that it's more easily manageable, uh, but I'm still testing the market as to see which of these social media platforms my target 
kind of audience prefer to interact with. Yeah, great. Awesome, excellent. I'll welcome along. So Thanks, Glad Sue. you could make it tonight. Appreciate that. All right, uh, time for a couple more. Who's who's going to introduce themselves? Come and say who you are and uh, what you hope to get out of tonight. Oh, good evening, Nick. Ron Pierre here. Oh, good day, Ron. How are you? And hi, good. everyone. And a uh, special hi, welcome uh, to Anita. Hi, Jane. Um, yeah, look, social media is... Uh, is always a challenge because um, <clears throat> I run about three pages or uh, three different pages on uh, social media and uh, both Facebook, Instagram are the main ones that I concentrate on and keeping content up. I like to have original content and, you know, that's probably adding a bit of a burden to my shoulders, <laughs> you know, continually creating good, good content for social media. And uh, I think I suffer burnout every now and again. I'd like to know how I can get over that. That's a, uh, that's I a big one. I actually think we all do, Rowan. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll definitely tackle that. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't that, isn't that what uh, Christmas and New Year's about, where you get a break from social media and uh, burn out and you just sort of crash on the couch and, uh, you know, don't look at your phone, but it never really happens. You pick up your phone because people start messaging Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, so you just can't help yourself. Depends on what your business does. Could be your busiest does, time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 it can be too. So, uh, well, I, remember and I, I have I have to say that I have bought things on Christmas Day. I've been on my phone on social media and like buying things on Christmas Day. So, um, it's probably a good day to set up for, and I'm sure that uh, you'll probably talk about that uh, tonight too, won't you, Anita? Well, I don't know whether you will. I'm just assuming. Mm. Uh, yeah, Nick, I forgot to say what I did. Oh, yes. What do you do, Ron? Um, my business is the Pet Karma, and uh, we have special products for calming uh, pet anxiety, namely uh, dogs and cats, okay. and this is all science-based. So, awesome. um, nice. Okay. Rather, rather innovative. Excellent. Excellent. And, uh, what, oh, I'm good to have you there again, Ron. Um, Ron, you said you've got three pages. Is it three Facebook pages or, yes. or three different channels? Uh, hmm, well, you have your own your own page, and yeah. then uh, which is my romp here, and then I have uh, another one called Dog Talks Podcast, and then another one called The Pet Karma. Okay, so you're doing podcasting as well. Yeah, yes. Well, I I started out when podcasting first started, so uh, um, now that's one of the burnouts. Yeah. Podcasting can be a burnout. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, and who else we got? We've probably got time for one more and then we'll uh, crack into some of the cool online tools. Hello. Can I start? Hello, Mary. How are you? Hi. All the way from Hong Kong. Hi, Hi yes. Mary. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm out, out again. I've just been walking somebody else's dog. Um, actually, I am starting a business in um, teaching English fluency, and um, I just wonder, um, sort of like, when is the best time to um, advertise and to, to get new um, clients? Okay. All right. Okay. So, so, so a new business. That's awesome. Yes. Very yep. new. Excellent, excellent. Awesome. Oh, well, that sounds great. Well, look, uh, welcome along, Mary. Glad to have you here tonight uh, as well. Where, where are you exactly? You look like you're outside somewhere. Yes, I'm just having my uh, afternoon tea in a restaurant. Oh, excellent. What time is it over there? It's um, 4.30, almost 4.30. Oh, okay. You t two hours difference. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, let's um, let's crack into it. So um, for those that have arrived, if you uh, wonder what meeting you've come into, this is Business Owners Smashing It Online. I'm Nick Cree. I'm your host. And um, uh, and uh, this is our regular Tuesday uh, meeting for uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, and uh, people that have got that, uh, I suppose, that uh, bug of an idea that think, well, hey, uh, this looks like a good time to uh, get into business. And in fact, it is a good time to uh, get into business as well. So um, first thing to do is uh, we've got a, uh, an agenda as normal. We've got cool online tools, which uh, we shall run through uh, shortly. 
Uh, then we've got uh, Juanita Z, who's here with a uh, presentation on helping us to get prepared for 2021. She is uh, a social media sort of uh, master, and uh, she's uh, will tell tell you a bit more about her when um, uh, when the time comes. Um, and we will have time for questions. I think a, uh, an evening like this uh, will elicit um, you know so a lot of questions around that. So. Uh, Feel free to ask, we'll have chat up as well, so feel free to uh, drop any questions uh, into chat. Uh, and then at the end we've got a prize draw and uh, we'll talk about uh, the next event. So we're only a couple of, um, I think a couple of events away from uh, uh, when the end of the year happens and then we'll take a break until the uh, new year. All right, so first thing is, um, because we're on social media, let's check into uh, Facebook. So uh, this is uh, a way to build uh, both your digital profile also reminds those that uh, thought they had this event bookmarked to uh, realise that it's actually uh, running tonight and uh, that uh, they can come on in. So uh, on Facebook, just click on uh, the what's on your mind uh, area where you'd normally uh, create a post. You'll get a menu that pops up from the bottom. Uh, this is on your phone, not in your computer, obviously. Uh, click on the uh, check-in and uh, you if you don't see business owners smashing it online, just search for it. It'll pop up and uh, click on it. And feel free to uh, add a comment, take a photo of your screen, uh, tag me in, tag Juanita in, uh, tag one of your friends in here, maybe tag someone in that, uh, that you think should be here uh, tonight as well too. So that's on Facebook. If you're a LinkedIn lover, go and do that on uh, LinkedIn as well. So whatever your platform is, um, so that we can uh, spread some of the love, spread some of the word, and also build your own sort of uh, profile on uh, the platform as well. All right, well, let's uh, have a look at some of the uh, cool online tools that we've got for us uh, tonight. So let me share my browser screen. If I can find the right one. And I'm hoping that you can see a screen that says, hey, on the top left. Just give us a thumbs up to tell me you can see that. Yep. Yep, you can. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. All right, always like to check because I have uh, I have done this before and uh, no one's seen anything. It's just a black screen. All right, so this one here, this is an app that, uh, this is really um, uh, in my collegial networks of uh, uh, web developers. Uh, emails are one of those constant things that you can't get away from. It uh, can be a headache, but, you know, it's one of those necessary uh, channels that we uh, still need uh, today. So... Um, some of us are using uh, G Suite, others Office 365, others uh, uh, just coming straight into something like uh, Outlook or Mac Mail. But here's a new email client. Well, it's not that new, but it's been around for a wee while, but it's a wee bit different. And I thought it's uh, worth a mention for those that want to, uh, say, block uh, spam or deal with spam in a, uh, in a different way. Uh, this is sort of like an opt-in uh, and permission-based email. So um, you, you would... Um, uh, you get an email account on this, which is uh, at Hay, and I'm pretty sure you can pull in other emails uh, accounts as well. What's really different about this one here is that if someone's emailing you for the very first time, they don't hit your inbox. Uh, they go into a separate uh, box there, uh, which you then go and approve. So there's a, a thumbs up and a thumbs down. Uh, if it looks like uh, spam or you think it's spam, you just give it the thumbs down. You'll never see it uh, again. You won't see any emails from that um, uh, email address again. If it's uh, someone you know or, or a friend, give it a thumbs up. Just click on the thumbs up. And uh, from now on in, they will uh, hit your uh, inbox. Now, it does have some uh, other features as well, too. So, so that's really how it deals with spam. So you never get that spam coming into your inbox. You do need to deal with it with the thumbs up and thumbs down. Uh, but you only have to uh, do, do that once. Uh, and then they've got some good uh, sorting uh, options. If I can find it all the way down here. Here we are. We click see how Hay works. Uh, and things like uh, accounts and bills and you know, financial statements uh, automatically just get uh, uh, put into a, another folder. Uh, so that they're out of the way from your inbox. You've still got them, uh, but uh, as much as possible, inbox is designed so that uh, it uh, filters your email into folders and boxes and, and places, and you only just get to see uh, what are really sort of genuine emails that uh, people are wanting to uh, send you. You've got access to all the other folders, but it, may, it makes it a whole lot easy to, easier to triage your emails in the morning. 
So for someone like me that gets, um, I would estimate when I'm up, when I get up in the morning, I would probably have in the order of about six or seven hundred uh, emails. Uh, most of them in newsletters, and um, I just subscribe for lots of stuff. So um, you know, a lot, lot of the newsletters and and. Uh, people pitching things and whatever. So this just cleans all of that out so I can just deal with uh, you know what's important. So if, you, if you're looking at a, um, an email alternative that um, uh, deals with spam and uh, gives you a bit more sort of control, so more of a, uh, an opt-in style of uh, uh, inbox, uh, give this one a try. Uh, it's, it's $12 a month, but they've got a free trial as well. So if you run the free trial for a month there, then uh, it'll give you some ideas to whether you think it's uh, worth it or whether it's not. So that one there is called hey.com. Now these links for, uh, for these, we'll pop them into chat. That link is already in chat. So if you have a look at the chat icon down the bottom of your screen, click that and open it up. Uh, they'll be there. And at the end of the session, you can save the chat as well. There are three little dots at the bottom of the chat box. If you click that, it'll give you an option to save it so that you don't have to bother writing down the links. So they'll, they'll all be there for you to click and go and explore. All right, next one is a, um, this is a live radio show. So uh, Ron was uh, mentioning uh, podcasting. So uh, this is sort of similar, except this is live. So I, I uh, came across this one, uh, what about last week? Yeah, I think it was last week. Yeah, it was last week uh, when I was interviewed by someone on this uh, live uh, radio show. So it's a wee bit different to the commercial channels that you uh, listen to in the car in that uh, this is internet radio, it, uh, but it is live and it does stream. And uh, so if you're looking for something uh, to create a channel there that uh, you can broadcast on, then um, this here, uh, it was a really good option. And, um, and being live, the, uh, I guess uh, the discipline of this is unlike podcasting where you can batch them and uh, you know, do them all in a day, these ones here are live. So uh, you need to turn up at the time and uh, you are the, uh, uh, the uh, DJ for the, uh, for the hour. Uh, and uh, uh, that it's a good place to develop a uh, um, you know, network, uh, to interview people that uh, are in your uh, sort of audience uh, or in your, um, uh, in your industry. And, uh, and these do get a following of uh, people uh, on, on it as well too. So it's called bbsradio.com. There are, are a number of radio shows around uh, and uh, they, they do broadcast uh, globally. And um, somewhere I saw there was a, uh, oh, I think when you're in the show, you can see how many people are on the show actually listening live in, in on it as well. So it, it's another channel for you to consider for your uh, worldwide uh, marketing as well. So uh, if, you, if you're quite comfortable talking and uh, not needing anything scripted, uh, these uh, live radio shows are good. I had a lot of fun on it. And uh, I'll be back on, I think, on uh, Christmas Christmas Eve, I think I'm going back on. So uh, again, with the same presenter. And uh, we've got a fun show then as well. I'll pop that into um, the Business Owners Smashing an Online Facebook group. If you uh, have got nothing better to do on Christmas Eve, come and listen to me. <laughs> um, all right, and, and while I'm there too, if you haven't, uh, if you're not a member of Business Owners Smashing an Online Facebook group, go and go and join that uh, because uh, that's where we make uh, all of the announcements about these programs and other things that are happening uh, during the year as well too. And you can introduce yourself and uh, connect with others there as well. All right, next one is uh, oh this this one here was uh, this is really interesting. So how many times have you uh, been into a meeting? And uh, or you've had a conversation with someone, and um, uh, and they've said something. You think, oh, what was that that they said? And uh, you thought, geez, I wish I recorded that or whatever. Well, here's an app here, which is a Back to the Future app. So uh, record the audio you forgot to record. So if you've got a uh, if you're having a meeting or a conversation with someone, uh, then uh, if you've got this app installed on your phone. Uh, this is for Mac users, so if you're Android, this is the reason why you'd want to sort of go to Mac. Just kidding, they might have something uh, sort of similar for uh, Android. But um, uh, you, you can sort of turn up home or back at the office, maybe it's uh, an hour later, a couple of hours later, three hours later, you can go back to this app and say, right, when was that meeting? That was at 9, 9.30, it was about so 9.36 that... Uh, that was that conversation, and it will have recorded that conversation for you to do it. Sort of sounds a bit creepy, you know, a bit like spyware or whatever, um, because it's just recording, uh, uh, must, well, it must be just recording in the background, 
probably no different to what Facebook does uh, when um, uh, when they're sort of recording your conversations about uh, and you say something about uh, coffee or uh, uh, you know uh, let's say microphone or something you're thinking about buying and then all of a sudden you get these ads presented in, in your newsfeed now they deny that that actually happens but who knows but uh, these sort of app, apps here uh, really sort of says look it's really possible you know your mic's on all the time and uh, you know it's just a matter of having access to it but this this was just a, a cool little app there so that um, uh, and you only sort of pull it up if you need it um, you know if you want to remember a conversation and it only stores it for a period of time so I think it might be 12 hours or 24 hours and then it just records uh, uh, over it again and wipes it so it's probably a bit like a security camera you know they just keep recording over it so that one there is called uh, backtrack.team next one here is uh, it's got a pretty unexciting website uh, but it's uh, eye tracking and uh, it's called uh, api.gazerecorder.com and what it does is uh, it records your eye movement uh, on the screen and um, oh, I've got some other funny um, web app on let me see if I can change that uh, okay no it's it's um uh, it's it's got a uh, another cam twist which is another um, uh, webcam app that I've got on which is obviously set as default but if it wasn't set as default uh, it would then uh, track your eye movements uh, around the screen and uh, once you're finished uh, you can have a look and sort of see the uh, hot spots uh, that uh, on the screen so um, at the moment it uh, it's an application that uh, can be used on websites it's not particularly user friendly you, you do need a web developer to integrate this onto your website but the uh, potential of an app like this it is quite new but the potential of it and this gives you an idea of where some of these things are going uh, to is that uh, rather than just recording say clicks on a website or a heat map uh, which uh, tracks uh, you know where you scroll on a website this one tracks eye movement so you can see where people's eyes are tracking on a website so how might this be of help uh, or of use to you, uh, you know, and your website? Well, we generally know that people read uh, in, in this part of the world, they read from uh, left to right and they go from top to bottom. But there are places on a page where people uh, tend to linger and some of those places are on the uh, top right hand side. Uh, so that's generally where you'd have your primary call to action on a website it's on your top right hand side because people's eyes naturally track to that uh, top right area and also down that uh, uh, right hand uh, sidebar area so if you wondered why uh, websites often have the uh, main content area over on the left and a sidebar on the right that's where people's uh, eyes finish finish up so that's where you'd have your primary calls to uh, action on the right hand side as well too so, uh, so this one here is really just uh, 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 something to be aware of and, uh, and of interest. Uh, I'm interested to see where this develops and uh, have a look at uh, how it might be integrated into, um, uh, you know, tracking software on uh, on your website to see what people's behaviours are and build some sort of map of what people's uh, eye tracking behaviour is. So that was just uh, one of uh, of interest. I don't even know how to stop it. All right, it's going to keep running. It's going to keep recording me for the rest of the session. All right, next one is um, I needed a ruler uh, the other day. How many people here actually have a physical ruler sitting on their desk or in their desk? I don't. <laughs> Ron has. <laughs> I don't. I, and uh, I was looking around uh, my uh, desk the other day uh, for a ruler. Why? Because I was buying uh, something on uh, uh, Amazon. So I was actually buying a windsock for my uh, microphone. And uh, I couldn't tell whether it was uh, uh, the size of a lapel mic or whether it was the size of a uh, of one of the larger microphones. So it had the dimensions out, and uh, I'm not particularly spatial when it comes, you know, if thinking, you know, well, what is 10 centimeters? So, um, so I needed an app, and um, so this is the first one that came up. wasn't particularly helpful, but uh, with the app that's on the screen there, all you do is uh, that is an accurate measure. So if you wanted to, uh, let's say, uh, measure something I've got a uh, post-it note you wonder how how uh, uh, how big it is you can actually just lay it on your screen and uh, measure it and it'll tell you that's uh, that's nine centimeters so uh, but that's an accurate scale of measurement so that wasn't particularly helpful for me because I, I couldn't really stick my microphone up onto the uh, screen so 
uh, I found something in the App Store, and this one was called Measure, and that just works on uh, on your phone. Uh, I would demo it, but I've got my uh, phone there uh, filming at the moment. But uh, all you do is uh, we'll just pretend this is my phone. You pick up your phone, uh, you hit the button on. There's a button on the phone for Start, and you and you click on the. Uh, uh, on what you want to measure, you line it up on the say, let's say the left hand side, you click start, move it over to the uh, end of it, you click finish, and then you get a uh, measurement on your screen. So I was able to measure my microphone to check that that windsock was going to fit uh, on the uh, on the microphone. So uh, and I've used this app a number of times uh, when I've had to go down to Bunnings and I've had to measure something. Um, where, you know, we've got a garage full of uh, uh, stuff there that we're restoring. And uh, so the kids and I are into that. And uh, but this has been a really sort of uh, helpful uh, app for that. Uh, so this only works on Apple for Android users. We've got you covered as well. Uh, I actually think the Android one is uh, is a wee bit better. Um, but uh, there's one there called Ruler.Mobi. Does the same sort of job, but you get all sorts of uh, different looks and feels and and whatever for it uh, as well too. So there you go. There's our uh, roundup. Uh, of the uh, apps for uh, this week and um, some of these have come in because I've used them so that's that's why they're uh, that's why they've uh, featured there so any any there that uh, have captured your imagination that uh, you think you uh, may be useful for you this week or that you can see yourself going down this uh, rabbit hole of uh, exploring this week just drop it into chat let us know which were your uh, favorite ones today I have to say, over the uh, Christmas period, I think that uh, Ruler app is going to come out uh, quite a lot. I dare say we'll be down to IKEA buying bits and pieces for kids' bedrooms and uh, you know, sort of replacing things. So uh, yeah. All right, the measuring tape is getting a thumbs up. Excellent. Um, all right. Okay, just reading through the comments. Oh, two Janes are eating. Look at that. <laughs> Excellent. Hello, Jane Watson as well. <laughs> All right. It is dinner time for uh, some of us, I know. All right. Well, that's the, uh, that's the roundup for the uh, apps for the evening. So um, hopefully there's something in there that uh, was useful for you. Uh, and again, if you've got some apps and tools that uh, you'd like to share with us as well, just drop me a line. Send me a message in Messenger. Drop it into uh, the business owners uh, smashing an online Facebook page, and um, I'm happy to go and uh, explore and uh, bring it in, and happy to give you credit for it as well too.